Hi everyone, Mike Riley here with Gaining Altitude Financial. And I'm often asked a question when someone is considering uh, protecting themselves with insurance, which is more important, disability insurance or critical illness insurance? And it's kind of like asking what's a more important tool, a hammer or a screwdriver? They're both different and they do different things. To illustrate that point, I had recently been flying back to Ontario to see my parents, which involves flying from Vancouver Island through Calgary, and sometimes flying over Calgary or over the mountains, it, there's turbulence. And for any of you that have flown in planes, you know that you're generally allowed to move about the cabin once uh, they're at, at altitude, but the pilot recommends uh, that you keep your seatbelt on while seated. And this flight was a perfect demonstration of that, that uh, we hit a pocket of turbulence, unexpected, the plane dropped, I don't know how much, but it, it felt like a mile. And a couple of the people who had not had their seatbelts on went up and hit the bulkhead. They were fine, knocked around a little bit, a little sore, uh, but you know, it, it wasn't a severe accident, but it could be if that was a prolonged fall. And to me, that's a lot like a seat, the seatbelt is a lot like disability insurance. So the purpose of disability insurance is to replace your income for a period of time while you're sick or injured and getting better through recovery to go back to work. It's not intended to make you better off than you were before, but it's to make sure that things don't get too bad. Kind of like a seatbelt in either an airplane or a car, it's, a fair, it's one of the more minor safety uh, components, but it is still important. So an example of that would be someone who needs $3,000 a month in order to cover off their bills to make sure that their rent or their mortgage are paid, there's food, other savings, the, the basics of life. Now this is generally after tax, so uh, sorry, tax free. So if you needed more than that because you, that's what you normally have, it, it should be pretty close. But for a, a 30 year old uh, female, uh, this amount would be anywhere between 75 and I was looking at um, and 100 and twenty dollars a month depending on how we structured the insurance policy but for anywhere between 75 and 120 dollars a month a healthy 30 year old female should be able to get about three thousand dollars worth of disability insurance now the other scenario and this didn't happen in in my plane flight but often uh, they'll let you know that in the event that the cabin becomes depressurized that the oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling and you can continue to, to breathe normally. Now, this is a more significant event because the depressurization of the cabin not only will uh, knock people out, but it can, in severe cases, lead to death. So this is a more significant issue, and critical illness insurance is the equivalent of that in, in our world. So what critical illness does is it replaces your uh, income, you hope, for about a year or more in the event that you're diagnosed with cancer, heart disease, stroke, MS, a coma, a benign brain tumor, there's 23 different conditions in most policies, and you get that lump sum tax-free so that even if you are able to work and probably wouldn't be covered by disability insurance, you can choose to say, you know, I don't want to go into work, I'm, gonna, I'm going through chemotherapy, or um, you know, my partner's going to take some time off work to help me through this. Uh, so you can replace that person's income at $90,000. You can do whatever you want with um, and, and focus on recovery. Now, for this same individual, depending, again, on how we structure it, uh, we'd be looking at anywhere from $70 to about $120, depending on, the, like I said, the, how we put the, that together. So both are relatively minor amounts of money in the great scheme of things. Of course, you know, I don't know what your budgets are like. But uh, if, if you are able to, neither one is any better than the other, uh, but allocating some of your, your uh, fuel on a monthly basis towards disability and critical illness will protect those other assets and keep you flying longer. So I hope that is a valuable insight into the differences and commonalities of disability and critical illness insurance. If you'd like to know more, I'm happy to, uh, to take a call with you or you can book an appointment at www.yourfinancialpilot.com. Please let me know if there are other topics you'd like to hear from. So that's Mike Riley, Gaining Altitude, helping you gain altitude and gain confidence.